Good morning. Happy Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. So uh, last Friday we finished, we, well, we looked at Hebrews chapter 8, which was about uh, covenants. And I said, these are contracts with people that you can trust, people that you love. We talked about the contra- the covenants that are found in the Bible. And uh, I noted that the, it all leads to the new covenant, the best covenant. Talked about in Jeremiah 31, this is the covenant that we get with Jesus. And I said, look, you could have a bad contract and a bad lawyer, you're in a lot of trouble. Or slightly better, you could have a good contract and a bad lawyer, or a bad contract and a good lawyer. But we get a good contract and a good lawyer. Be encouraged. Well, today, we're going to look at Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Inasmuch as it is appointed for men once to die and after that to face judgment. So I'm skipping a big part of Hebrews chapter 9, and that's because having spent the last part of the second half of of 7 and most of 8 talking about how much better the new covenant is than the old covenant, in chapter 9, the first uh, 26 verses, first 24 verses or so, he goes back and talks about the old covenant. Uh, The writer talks about the old covenant and how um, it is... Um, it's good. It's not better than the new covenant. He just says that the, you know, the old covenant had a lot going for it. Again, the covenants weren't bad. It's just that we couldn't keep them. And then he he's, talks a little bit now, transitioning back into the new covenant in Jesus. He talks about blood, which is in the Bible, blood is sort of currency. It's like money. Uh, it represents something else of value. And in this case, it represents life. So he talks about blood, and he talks about the sacrifice of Jesus, and then he says, again, these 14 words that are pretty uh, disconcerting, and as much as it is appointed for us to die once, and after that to face judgment. So uh, there's a couple things to note here. Uh, One, we have a destiny. We have have an appointment with death, Uh, not one that we made. We can hardly be expected to schedule a trip to the dentist. We probably wouldn't schedule this one. But God has uh, set a date, and it is before us. And we can note also that it is um, that, that we face death once. So we can sort of dispense with the idea of reincarnation. Um, but I actually want to focus less on death and more on judgment. Um, I think that's the key word, because while death in our culture is, um, is avoided and ignored, it's not disbelieved, uh, but judgment is disbelieved. I mentioned in a sermon just a few weeks ago that um, many people today live uh, as if they're not going to die, but you know, no one's going to die, but everyone's going to go to heaven. And I said, it's sort of the opposite. Um, Everyone's going to die, and not everyone's going to go to heaven. And so we, we get this here, and uh, judgment is just so horribly out of touch with the spirit of the age. Uh, but it, it is something that we need to face. And so today, or this week, for the first part of the week, we are going to be thinking more about judgment. And I, I will just say all that to set up and say, the news is not all bad. In fact, there's something uh, good and there can be something very liberating about understanding uh, what God is doing and about judgment. So I will leave you with that. We'll pick this up tomorrow.